this problem, we're given a function and we're given an interval. And we're asked if Rawls theorem applies. And if it does, find the value of C. So let's go ahead and go through the conditions of Rawls theorem. So the first condition of Rawls theorem is that the function is continuous on this interval here. This is a polynomial function, it's a parabola, so it's certainly continuous. So I'll just say f is continuous on 0, 4, right, because it's a parabola. The second condition of Rawls theorem is that f is differentiable on this interval. It certainly is, it's a parabola, it has no sharp edges, it's not like an absolute value function or anything like that, there's no asymptotes. It's a nice, pretty, uh, upside-down parabola, so there's no issues at all. So f is certainly differentiable, so I'll just say f is differentiable on, and it's on the open interval, that's the um, differentiability condition. The con continuity condition is on a closed interval. And the third condition of Rawls, we should definitely check, uh, it's basically when you plug in these numbers, uh, when you plug in 0 and 4, you have to get the same answers. Let's check that. So f of 0 is going to be negative 0 squared plus uh, 4 times 0. So that's equal to 0. And f of 4 is going to be negative 4 squared plus 4 times 4. So this is going to be negative 16 plus 16. Awesome. So it's 0. So they're both the same. So f of 0 is equal to f of 4. So what Rawls' theorem says is that when all three conditions are satisfied, you can find some number which they call little c, um, such that the derivative is equal to 0. And that little c will be between 0 and 4. So now we just have to find c. So the answer here is yes. You know, the theorem does apply. We have continuity on the closed interval differentiability on the open interval, and the function values at the endpoints are exactly the same. So by Rawls' theorem, there is some number c between 0 and 4, such that the derivative is 0. So to find c, all you do is you take the derivative, and you set it equal to 0. You don't even have to call it c. I'll just call it x. So taking the derivative here, it's really easy. It'll be negative 2x uh, plus 4, right? just the power rule. And you set that equal to 0. So let's see. Uh, subtract 4. be really bad to mess up here. <laughs> this is negative 2x uh, equals negative 4. Then divide by negative 2. So we get x equals 2. So this is the value of c. You can just put x, but it's, it's, it's c. It doesn't really matter, so you can use x or c. That's the number guaranteed by Rawls' theorem. So notice that uh, 2 is between 0 and 4. It will always be... Uh, between these numbers. You always got to make sure that it is. So that's the answer. You can just put x equals 2 or c equals 2. It doesn't really matter. That's it.